Let's go. See if we can find Coyote. The handsome younger man turns away from the crowd and fixes you with his full, completely undivided attention. Ma'am, you are a beautiful orb, but you could be so much more. What are you selling? I'm not selling anything. We are giving away the secrets to a more fulfilling, happy, and productive life. Okay, I'll bite. What are the secrets to a more fulfilling, happy, and productive life? The first step is to simply come in and listen. Tomorrow night, Lynn Telestrian will be speaking about the importance of family in the sixth world. Please join us tomorrow, and the secrets to a better life shall be revealed to you. He smiles and turns back to the crowd. Refurbish flowers? How the hell do you refurbish flowers? Let's see here. That's Paco. Let's go around before I talk to Paco. Got a dog on a stick here. I hope it's a hot dog, but not an actual dog. Oh, snap. Tall, emotionless, lone star officer blocks entry to the crime scene. Behind her, you spot the lively face of the organ grinder's coroner, Dresden. This is an act of lone star investigation. Please step away from the barrier. What happened here, officer? Homicide. Now move along, please. I'm here to see coroner Dresden. And who might you be? It's all right, officer. She's with me. Dresden steps up to the barrier with a warm grin. The officer looks at you with poorly concealed skepticism. Okay, then. Make it quick. Lying on the pavement is the body of a young human female. Her eyes have been gouged cleanly out, and you notice a string of bite marks along her left arm. So what brings you out here? Hot on the trail of the dead man's killer? Coincidence, coincidence, believe it or not. I take it I've stumbled across another Ripper murder? Yeah, that's what it looks like. As you can see, the Ripper went for the eyes this time. Pretty clean work, I gotta hand it to him. Our Ripper knows what he's doing. Or she, I suppose. What do you know about the victim? Well, not much. Dresden scratches his head absentmindedly, probably breaking some sort of sanitation protocol. She's been dead for about three hours. Her name was Lucy Warden, worked at the Stuffer Shack just around the corner. Looks like she was just leaving work when it happened. Can you tell us she was subdued in some way before her eyes were removed? That's a strange thing. There don't seem to be any signs of struggle, not a single bruise on her body. Yet she was clearly alive when the eyes were taken, died of blood loss shortly thereafter. As to what, what knocked her out, I won't know until I can run some tests back at the lab. What about the bike marks on her arm? Ah, completely unrelated. It appears some wild dogs dragged the body out here from the alley, sometime after her death. I thought she ran the Redmond franchise. Isn't Pike Place a little far from home? Yeah, well, I don't really mind the change of scenery. The corner for the downtown branch is out on maternity, so I told management I'd cover for her on this one. Plus, I want the sicko caught. Any sign of magic use here? There was evidence of an unusual explosion in the alley where Sam died. Now there's an interesting thought. No, nothing obvious though. I'm sure when Mikulski shows up, he'll call in full magical forensics team though, just to be sure. So the Ripper takes Wa Sam Watt's liver and this woman's eyes. Any theories? Drove sure, some sort, I suppose. Probably some symbolic significance to the killer. Beyond that, I couldn't speculate. speculate. That's enough questions. Thanks, Dresden. Yeah, I figure if you 
If I help you out, there's a better chance of getting the scumbag off the streets a little sooner. McCluskey wants to rip her in a cell, sure, but he couldn't care less if it takes another dozen murders. Good luck out there, eh? Dresden starts to turn back to the body, then stops. Speaking of McCluskey, you should probably get going soon before he shows up. The elf setting before you may quite possibly be the ugliest elf you've ever seen. His meticulously clean lab coat, format jacket, old-fashioned bow tie give him the look of an undertaker from centuries past. He notices you approaches and locks eyes with you, smiling a thin, unnerving smile. Hello there, stranger, might I inquire. Do you know which organ grinder's facility this body will be removed to? Who's asking? The elf giggles a strange, high-pitched warble you would not expect to emerge from his misshapen face. Oh, I'm no one of consequence. Never mind that, though. Good evening to you and your friend, the coroner. The plainclothes lone stop officer uh, before you sports a tacky hat and a crooked grin to match. So you're the one who's working for the dead man, eh? McCluskey warned us you might be sniffing around after the Ripper. Luck for you, I got here before McCluskey. I'm Officer Guire. Pleased to meet you. Now, seeing the crime scene is going nowhere fast, what can I do for you? What can you tell me about the murder that took place here? Not much, really. We know it was about three hours ago. We know that eyes have been surgically removed. Didn't need dress to figure that much out. He's been looking at the body, though, so he might have more. He's been scanning the rest of the scene and looking for witnesses... But no luck so far. Damn Murphy might as well be a ghost. So I take it you and McCluskey don't exactly see eye to eye? Let's just say McCluskey and I have conflicting interests. Do you have any leads on the Ripper that I should know about? Ha! Plenty, if you ask McCluskey. But the truth is, we're as close as you probably are. Thanks for your time, officer. Hey, hold on a minute. You haven't put in a donation for the Lonely Orphans Fund. Yeah, you see, you make a contribution to the fund, I put you on a list and let you know the next time you find any orphans that you might be interested. Well, I'm always interested in finding about any new orphans you discover. Excellent, shall we say 300 yen? Alright, you got a deal. His face splits into a wide grin. Excellent, I'll start an account for you. We get any useful new leads on the Ripper, I'll give you a call. Now I'd better get back to work before McCluskey shows up. See you around. Kid in front of you sports the trademark yellow of the Cutters Gang Young, clean shaven. He stands like he owns the street and everyone on it. He seems distracted though, glance around with increasing agitation. He looks over as you approach. Watch yourself, Trog. What you want? You wouldn't happen to be looking for a coyote, would you? That's none of your fragged business. Who the hell are you? Relax, we're on the same team. I'm full sack. I was just at the Union. Your girlfriend's gone missing, and I'm here, and I'm helping to find her. The tough guy's swagger seems to drag, drain out of Paco. The cutter is gone before he sends a kid in the yellow jacket that doesn't quite fit. Coyote missing? Oh man, that would explain. She was supposed to meet me here over an hour ago. Look, sorry for getting your face like that. What else do you know? She's missing. I need to find her. We'll do it this way. Ever heard of a place called Maury's Meat Market? Coyote had a receipt for some zebra meat from there. What, you've been rummaging through her stuff? Yeah, the shop's just down the black. What the hell would she need zebra meat for, though? It beats me. You know a fixer named Mr. Delilah. Coyote had a meeting with him a few days ago. I know him, sure. Blake doesn't allow any cutters to take side gigs, though, so I got no reason to deal with him. Coyote hasn't said anything about taking new work. Wait a minute. Drek, I know where she went. Damn, why couldn't she wait? Damn it. Paco, slow down. Where'd she go? The Royale Apartments landlord, Stevie J, runs a drug ring out of that hellhole. Coyote grew up there, doesn't like to talk about it much. She's been looking for a way to settle the score with that guy for years. A few days back, I heard Mr. Delilah was looking for runners to steal some sort of item from under Stevie J's nose. She must have taken the job, I'm sure of it. And if his thugs caught her, 
There's a grim determination in Paco's eyes. I'm going over there. You coming? I'm in. Don't worry. We'll get her back. Damn right we will. The small meat stand represents, presents an enormous diversity of dead animals, from cow and canine to the exotic and paranormal. The pictures on the back of the stand feature a much older version of the man in front of you. As soon as he notices Paco, the proprietor's eyes becomes hard and angry. What do you want? You know we can't afford more. Relax, man. My friend has, has a question. Everything cool here? Yeah, everything's well. Manny continues to stare at daggers in Paco's direction. Name's Manny. Now what do you want? Do you know someone named Coyote? Nope, I don't go in much for that shaman stuff. Why would someone want to buy zebra meat? Some people eat it, but I wouldn't recommend that. Toughest nails. We mostly sell it to corp security system teams who use it towards their to reward their hellhounds. The flamers go crazy for the stuff for some reason. Oh, direct. That's why Coyote wanted zebra meat. Everyone talks about the pet hellhound Steve J keeps locked up somewhere in the Royale, and if she never picked it up. Whatever, anything else? I had this receipt for an order of zebra meat. Still have it for me? I'll look it up. Yeah, I got it right here. Two days past the pickup time. Don't think anyone was going to come for it. Here, it's all yours. And what's your problem with Paco? Why don't you ask him? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means your gang likes to stroll through here and relieve us merchants of our union. My dad stood up to them, and he's still in the hospital. Look, it's not my problem. I'm at the bottom of the cutter ranks anyway. I couldn't do dreck about that even if I wanted to. Tell that to my dad. I don't have time for this. We need to find Coyote. You're right, Paco. Let's get going. So I got the zebra meat. That. Now I gotta figure out where the hell to go. Not fair. Tell me where to go. Oh, can I go this way? York before you wears the standard stuffer shack employee you get up. The uniform is well kept and well fit, but the tears streaming down his large, crooked face do little to improve his appearance. He does not seem to know your notice your approach. Take it you knew the victim? Yeah, what's it to you? My condolences. Were the two of you close? Thanks. Sorry, we're just not used to folks being too friendly around here. The orc wipes some tears away with the dirty napkin. Yeah, we were pretty close, as co-workers go. Blind Lucy and I worked here at the shack for three years together. Started on the very same day. Blind Lucy? Well, Lucy wasn't completely blind, but she was legally blind. She had to wear these huge glasses and hold things right up to her face. But she got new eyes about a year ago. Huh. Any idea how she scored the new eyes? No, she wouldn't talk about it, just called it her stroke of good luck. Guess that luck ran out. You seen anyone strange in the store lately? I see weird stuff every day. It's a stuffer shack. But no, nothing stranger than usual. 
Did Lucy have any enemies? Well, I'm not sure. I know she had an ugly breakup with her boyfriend after getting those new eyes put in. That guy was pretty upset for some reason and wouldn't leave Lucy be till she filed for a restraining order. That all seemed to die down a while ago, though. When was the last time you saw Lucy? Here at the shack earlier today. I think she was heading into the market to meet a friend. Hell, I was going to join her on my way home, but we got some last-minute customers. He sighs. That's all I needed to know. Thank you for your help, and I'm sorry for your loss. Wait, you wouldn't happen to be part of the investigation, would you? In my own way, why do you ask? Well, Lucy had this necklace, an intricate little carving of a dragonfly on it. Wore it every day, said her mom gave it to her when she left Denver. Anyway, you know how Lone Star is. All of her stuff will be bagged and placed in evidence storage until the seventh world awakens. I just thought... I understand. If I could find it at the scene, I'll bring it to you. Thanks for your help, friend. You know where to find me. Let's go do that. Are you just going to have to wait? I'm sure there's not a time thing. I need to take this victim's necklace with me and maybe help in my investigation. Well, if it'll help you, that means it won't be helping McCluskey. Officer Guire reaches down, picks up the necklace, and hands it to you. Thanks, officer. Yeah, sure. Good luck out there. Oh, that worked well. Easier than I thought. Probably not haggling with him helped out. <clears throat> Were you able to find Lucy's necklace? I got it right here. Frank, you can send this to her family now. As he takes the necklace from you, you can sense a weight lifting from Frank's shoulders. I'm glad I can do this much for Lucy. At least, thank you, friend. I owe you. Just make sure it gets to Lucy's families. I don't want it turning up in some Lone Star office with my prints on it. Hey lady, you haven't answered me in. I just need some sucro zoom from the shack over there. Have ten. Nutra soy cakes will fill you up for longer. Thanks, Timmer. Someone else can do something. Oh, there's the Royale. Ha! I'm blind. <laughs> Oh, and while I'm moving, I can't save. That's what the problem is. Okay. Come on, lady. Let's go find Coyote. All right. I'm ready to go. I, I looked at everything, I think. The Royal Apartments. What a hole. Can't imagine what it was like for Coyote growing up here. Not go trails off. A hell hole full of junkies. Looks like Stevie J's gets their rent money and their drug money. Coyote's here. We had to hurry. She's good, but, well, these PTL guys have to stay well informed. They may know, have known she was coming. Hey, you. Someone scratch herself like a cat at a couch leg. Please, can you scare some Nian? My Corette sticks a little light too, lady. What can you do for me in exchange? I got nothing to give, lady. It all goes to BTLs so everything. Please, just a few win. Maybe I can credit you for some information. Have you seen a woman come through here today? Armed, looking for trouble? Yes. No. Hell, what do you want me to say? I'll tell you anything. Everything. Please. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. You're, you should leave this place if you can. But that doesn't make sense. The BTLs are here. I just need something she collapses whimpering and seems lost to this world like a lazy pigeon he watches you approach you're not from around here are you i don't want any trouble easy gramps i'm just looking for information then i'm gone 
bad day to come around here unexpected. Bit of a commotion upstairs. Stevie's men are twitchy. The pretty young thing came through earlier, snooping around like you two are. I could tell she weren't here for BTLs. Don't know how she got upstairs, but there was a lot more gunfire than there usually is this time of day. That's not good. You see her come back down? Nope. A couple of Stevie's men came around asking what anyone saw. Kept my mouth shut. I did. Where's Stevie hold up? He's got the whole top floor to himself. Fancies he's the king around here. Great. Now listen again. Sounds like Coyote's run, run sideways on her. Hey, old man, you know how to get upstairs? You've been ride friendly, but I can't get on the wrong side of Stevie J. I'm sure you understand. You've already stuck your neck out to help us. We'll find another way. Looks like there's a hole in the wall behind this old dresser. dresser. Huh. There's the walls crumbling through the hole. You can see a rickety stairwell leading up. Alright. Give me the key to that door. You're back. What do you want now? You sure you don't know anything about that stairwell? I can't help you. Stevie J would, would feed me to those hounds. You know anything about that BTL dealer? Just that nobody around here be crying over his death. Brings a bad type of people around that one. My bill, I can't do it. Stop your pleading. Your boy has debts and we're collecting. Please, Riker, no, he's my son. Get your ass back in your squad before I break something else. I'll send him upstairs instead. You want me to get him to Stevie? Maybe after he kills that girl we caught. You pig, give Zipper back an hour. Or you'll bleed on me. Zipper's gone. Get yourself a new kid. Oh god, no. Please, no. It's my home, get out. What was all that about? Why do you care? It's it's my son. That bastard took my son. Who took your son? One of Stevie J's goon, Riker. He runs that filthy BTL squad across the hall. My son Zipper, he's not a strong boy, and Riker knows it. Lured him with those damn ships. Better than life. Ha, huh, what life? And now they're torturing him in there. Why would they do that? Yeah, that's actually a good question. What's a BTL and why do they need your son? You don't have BTL where you're from? It's an illegal type of sim sense recording, you know, recording of uh, brain patterns or something. They slot into your head and it's like you're there, living with whatever it was they recorded. But these guys remove all the safety limiters from the sim sense and get people addicted. Riker over here has his own recording studio so he can make his own product. They're using my son as a guinea pig to record a torture BTL so that his boss, Steve J. Sears, can torture anyone he likes just by slotting the chip. Doesn't even have to lay a hand on him. Over, overheard them say they have a special guest up in the penthouse right now. That must be a coyote. They've got her up there. Easy, Paco. She'll be okay if we keep our heads. Are you with me? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll be okay. What about my son? I'll see if I can save your son while we're saving our friend. Thank you, thank you. Alright, let's go free this old geezer. time to eat chocolate. Haven't seen you before, lady. Looking to go somewhere special? Scream echoes through the pipes of the rotten walls. Hard to tell where it came from. What was that sound? He smiles with his mouth, but his eyes say predator. Who knows? Could be anything. Probably someone running the wrong end of the Yakuza execution, BTL. We get all kinds. I can hook you up if you're interested. I heard you're in the middle of a recording session. 
Sure I am, my gear is state of the art if you can believe it. Give me the kit and you might be able to... Hmm, let's try this. How about a tour of your this amazing studio? Listen lady, I'm too busy for your chit chat. Buy something or get out. You're back. Decide what you want. I've got something for all kinds. I decided on you need that I need to kick your ass. Put a number with some uh, numbers written on it. To Excellent Computer, let's look at the BTL library. The database has a vast array of BTLs covering all topics from disturbing and sad to romantic and adventurous. I'm going to send a happy BTL to the plugged in junkies. Back to the menu. Uh, recording studio. I'm going to reboot the studio software. The buzzing and humming of nearby electronics comes to a swift halt. Who are you? Get out. Can't you see I'm working here? Leave now and never come back and hurry before I change my mind. Whoa, okay lady, I'm gone. I don't know who you are, but thanks. You got lucky today, kid. If I were you, I'd play it safe from now on. You don't get lucky twice. Oh, I don't think I can move. Can you at least tell my dad? Hey, 
Did he save my son yet? The zipper's okay. He's pretty messed up, though. I don't know how to thank you. the passcode. Looks like the elevator only goes to the penthouse. Full sack, if we go up there, I'm not leaving until we find Coyote. Alright. Raspy Manic Voice booms over the penthouse PA system. You really think you can come in here and shoot up my place? Do you know who I am? I know who you are. You're the guy I'm gonna kill. Shit! My bad. No, I can't. And with the bloody gurgle, Stevie J is no more. Let's do these past go.
About time you got here, Paco. Who's your friend? Just another professional. I need to ask you some questions. Not now. Coyote, we need to get you back to the Union. Miss Kubota has the med lab in the basement. No, no, I need to finish the other thing I came here for. You need to find something for Mr. Delilah first. A stash of gems. Delilah, I thought you said you'd never do another deal with that man. Look, Paco, I need an excuse to come back here and settle some debts. Figured, figured I might as well get paid for it. Paco, help her back to the Union. I'll find those gems for you and meet you there. Looks as though she's about to argue, but says nothing. Come on, Coyote, let's go. Some loose neandle is laying on the crates. Small velvet bag filled with precious gems. Let's try to be able to get 